All right, this is my first attempt at a video tutorial. And what I want to show you guys here is how I set up my picture for coloring. So the first thing, I have my line art here. Um, I already did it ahead of time, so it's a little bit easier to catch up on. Um, and then what I'm going to do, taking my wand tool, I'm on the layer that my line art is on. I'm going to click outside my picture and I'm going to ex no I'm going to sorry contract the marque by a pixel and already I've got problems cropping up I can already see some places that may not have needed to be in my selection so I'm just gonna erase those real quick wand tool selected I'm going to expand my marque because it's selecting everything around it. One pixel, that'll contract the border. I'm then going to select inverse. So now I've got just here. I'm going to copy that, paste it, and then lock my previous layer. Now what I'm going to do with this new layer I'm just going to remove that old layer so you can't see it. I'm going to select the outside again. Select inverse. Cut out all the lines and then with a paint bucket I'm just going to do a softer color and fill in those lines. Now what this does is it gives me a baseboard to work with when I'm coloring. So we'll lock that layer and then with my color I usually use for coloring a felt tip just because it gives it a bit of a softer edge. I'm just gonna pick a random color here and I'm going to color however I want. Kind of askew, whatever. That'll go under the lines layer and now what I'm going to do with that Taking this gray layer, I'm going to select it, select inverse, and cut. Oops. And get over to the color layer and cut. So now I have my color. Um, if this works the best in fireworks, if you have a program, program like Photoshop or GIMP, I believe you can lock transparency and color outside the lines and so you don't have to do that extra step. This is just to help me because I use fireworks and so it works a little differently. Okay, hopefully this works.